Councillor Cordova. Thanks, ma'am. A quick question about the delegated authority list on page 79. I noticed that there are two more retrospective approvals uh, uh, this meeting again, so DA 202014 and 87. Um, I guess I'm just looking for a little bit more detail and an indication of whether or not the proponents just didn't understand that they that they needed council approval and maybe is that an indication that more education is required around around that issue? Ms. Tullamore. Um, through you, Mayor, I'm just um, trying to find which ones they are. I didn't have it prepared, but if I could just have a few moments and I can look it up. I have a question. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor. Um, on the weekend, I was having a chat to some community members and the issue of uh, fish farming in the channel came up on a couple of occasions. Just wondering if there's been an influx of um, yeah, concern being raised with Council, particularly since the new well boats have arrived. General Manager. Uh, through you, Mr Mayor. Uh, I'm not aware, Councillor Cordova, of um, any heightened uh, activity in that area. Um, I will follow up, though, um, with my colleague, Mr Dool, to see whether there is something that I'm not aware of that certainly hasn't passed my test. Ms. Tolomore, you're welcome to take on notice, by the way. Or you, I can do it. Um, Ms. Tolomore. Through you, Mayor, the, um, the Semfly Road one appears to, um, the report suggests that um, the applicant, it was re-advertised because the applicant wanted to include an unauthorised outbuilding that had been constructed. Um, so what happens occasionally is officers, when they visit the sites to do the site inspection, um, find other buildings or other works that are unauthorised. Um, and I'd say that's what's happened in this instance, and it looks like the um, Cemetery Road one is also similar, that it was identified by officers that that was a building without approval. So they then can add it into their planning application. Thanks, um, Mayor. Just another question about, is there, is there the feeling that there's need for more education, maybe on rates notices or something like that, um, so that this doesn't happen? Or if it's, not a, if it's not a big issue, then it's not a big issue, but... Ms Tolomore. Um, through you, Mayor, it's our intention through our enforcement to um, proactively promote compliance um, and we can do that by illustrating some examples of non-compliance. Um, we intend to do that resourcing limits our opportunity to do those extra things um, and we also have details on planning permits that are issued that say you cannot make changes to your plans um, if you want to make changes and you come back for an amendment and we can also include things on our website, but again, um, resourcing limitations makes it hard to get to those all those other projects that we'd like to do and um, promote. But I think probably the rates notice isn't the right place. It would just be a general um, media release. Uh, 